Nilambara on a Full Moon Night, written by Aparna Atharya, illustrated by Nirzara Verulkar, published by Pratham Books. A long time ago, in the village of Pakshipur, situated at the edge of a forest, lived a young boy called Baku. He loved counting things. After school, he helped his mother weigh vegetables and count money. One evening, Baku saw a pair of colourful birds. They laughed and took off. Baku followed them. They flew through a cave and into the forest. Everything here was so different, just like the birds. Were those blue monkeys whistling? And the pink elephants? They seemed to be humming. Baku didn't see the sun go down. Soon it got dark and he was lost. A short distance away, he saw a roaring fire. A woman was pacing up and down. Her name was Midu. Baku went up to her and asked softly, What, uh, what is the matter? My 10-year-old daughter, Koya, came down with a rare illness six months ago. She hasn't been able to sit up since then. Is there no cure? asked Baku. Only one, the nectar of the Nilambara flower, she said. It blooms every seven days, but only the nectar collected on a full moon night can cure her. In the past six months, the flower hasn't bloomed even once on a full moon night. Koya is getting weaker day by day. Baku's mind raced. Please don't cry. The flower will bloom on a full moon night. Mm, in nine days, he said confidently. How can you be so sure? asked Midhu. Baku had worked it out. The full moon shone every 30 days and the flower bloomed every 7 days. This meant it would bloom on a full moon night once every 210 days, roughly 7 months. 6 months had gone by. The Nilambara would bloom on the next full moon night. And that was only nine days away. Midhu thanked Baku and led him back to his village. Three weeks later, when Baku was picking jamuns, he saw Midhu again. She came running and hugged him. Baku, look! That's my koya, she said. The flower bloomed on the night you said it would. The nectar worked its magic. Koya was cured. Baku was very pleased. All was well in Midhu's world. How did Baku work it out? Baku knew the Nilambara flower bloomed once every seven days and that the full moon appeared every 30 days. How did he know that the blooming of the flower would coincide with the full moon? Mathematics! Actually, something called lowest common multiple or LCM. What is LCM? The LCM of two numbers, let's call them A and B, is the smallest number which is a common multiple of both A and B. The lunar cycle, that is one full moon to the next, can last anywhere between 28 and 31 days. The average full moon cycle is 29.53 days, which is rounded off to 30 days. How do you find the LCM? To find the LCM of 3 and 5, write the multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33 and so on. Write the multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. The common multiples are 15 and 30. The least or the smallest common multiple is 15. LCM of 3 and 5 is 
15. Prime factorization method. We usually use this method to find the LCM of larger numbers. This means that we list out each number as a product of prime factors. Let's find the LCM of 20 and 30. First, we write each of the numbers as a product of its prime factors. 20 is 2 into 2 into 5. 30 is 2 into 3 into 5. Now we multiply all the factors. 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 which is 60. If a factor is common to both the lists, we need to take it only once for each pair, unless it occurs more than once in the small list. Here 2 is common in one pair, but it occurs twice in the list for 20. How often does the Nilambara bloom on a full moon night? The answer to this is the LCM of 7 and 30. 7 and 7, 30, 2 into 3 into 5. LCM is 2 into 3 into 5 into 7, which is 210. So the Nilambara blooms on a full moon night once in 210 days. Imagine you have planned to serve spicy vada pav from the neighborhood snack shop. You go to the shop and realize that vadas come in packets of 3 each and pavs come in packets of 4 each. What is the minimum number of packets you have to buy of each so that you can pair varas and paus without either remaining extra? Hint, LCM will help you here. Have a great party and work out the answer.